Hey everybody and welcome to Developing Solutions. Sorry for the echoiness, we are of course in the uh, dark room for these videos. Today we're going to mix up Fixer. That's right. Uh, where, which one is it? So specifically we're going to mix up powdered Kodak Professional Fixer. There, this comes in two varieties, liquid and powder. This video is about powder, we'll do a separate one about liquid. I actually prefer the liquid for, over the powder for mixing ease because it's way simpler. With the powder though, this has a much longer shelf life in powder form than the liquid does in liquid concentrate form. So it's a matter of whether you're going to keep this on the shelf for a long time or use it quickly as to which one of those works best for you. Okay, so for the powder real quickly, we're going to go over how to mix this. The steps are right here. It's very, very important to follow the steps on the package when you mix your chemicals to avoid chemical reactions. So this will make uh, 3.8 liters, which is one U.S. gallon. To start off with, you're going to take three liters of distilled water. Always use distilled water when you mix up your filter, ke your chemicals. If you don't have distilled water, it is a little bit spendy, a couple bucks a gallon or something like that. I have a Brita filter down here. I'll use that a lot of the time if I'm out of distilled water. It's almost as good because it removes the chlorine from the water, which is really the big thing to worry about. So anyway, if you have distilled water, use that. 18 to 25.5 degrees Celsius, which is 64 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing we're going to do is stir until dissolved. Uh, we're, you're going to put three liters of distilled water into your back into your distilled water jug or take 0.8 liters out. Add the powder to it, stir it or shake it, I'll show you what I mean by that, until dissolved, and then top off the, the, thing, the water with your distilled water to bring it up to a gallon, and then let this sit until it clarifies and you've made your fixer. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's our fixed jug. First tip I've got for you on your fix, always date your fixed jug for when you mixed it up. Then the next thing you're going to want to do are do hatch marks or keep track somehow every time you develop the equivalent of a roll of 36 frames of 35 millimeter film so that you know when this is going bad by some other means than smell. This is my fixer funnel. Always use separate plastic containers for your chemistry because you don't want to have the fixer well, the fixer and the, the developer will get into that plastic. You don't want to use your fixer funnel on your developer mix because what's going to happen is that fixer will get into your developer and neutralize it. Fix is powerful stuff. First step is we're going to bring put this up to about uh, three liters. I don't need a filter funnel, by the way, for this, but... Uh, I don't have a fixed funnel that isn't filtered. Okay, that's about put three liters in there. Next thing I'm going to do is just cut the corner of this bag off. If you do this in a very messy way, it's a good idea to wear a mask when you do this, by the way. So this is a separate funnel that's for dry goods. Don't use your water funnel for your dry goods for the same reason that you don't thread your fried chicken with your egg fingers. So what's going to happen if you do that is your dry goods are going to clog up your funnel and you're going to be in a world of hurt. Also don't use a filter funnel for your dry powders. Do not like the smell of that. All right. Clean that up in a bit. We're going to top this off with water. Next, we're going to cap this. I don't have a stirrer that will fit inside of this very easily, so here's how I stir it up. While I'm doing this, I'm going to give you a safety tip. Uh, I read online one time that if you take your fix and you neutralize it with tin foil or with uh, steel wool, but preferably tin foil, 
and then filter all the solids out by using like a coffee filter or something like that, that you can reuse the fixed liquid for your next batch. That's not true. I tried that and the chemical reaction inside the jug was so strong that it melted the plastic jug. So every time you mix up your fixer, use fresh distilled or filtered water and uh, don't reuse chemistry. And one of the reasons I use the distilled water jugs for my chemicals like this, for, for fixer and things like that, is it prevents me from accidentally mixing small amounts of old chemistry with new, which could have deleterious effects on the chemistry quality or on the chemical reaction of the chemistry. So um, you probably can't hear this, but it sounds like there's sand as I shift, as I turn this upside down and back over. That sound has been fading as I talk to the point that it's almost gone now. Once that sound is gone, just set this down and let it sit. It'll clarify in the next six to eight hours, give or take, and then the fix is ready to go. That's it, that's all it takes. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.